Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Jalen Wilson is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to John Productions for sharing this. If you aren't familiar with Jalen Wilson, this is his YouTube channel, and as you can see, he has 136,000 subscribers. We're going to look at a few different clips, but what you'll notice is phrases like, God showed me, or a word from the Lord, prophetic warning, and other phrases throughout his channel on many of his videos. And yes, he's another one that God told about Donald Trump. The Lord showed me Donald Trump. The Lord Jesus Christ showed me Donald Trump. And the Lord had some words to say about him. He really did. And I'm going to tell you one thing that the Lord showed me. The Lord showed me that Donald Trump is a servant of God. Donald Trump. Let me tell you something. First of all, Donald Trump is not a servant of God. He's better than Biden, in my opinion, but he's publicly stated that he's never repented because he has nothing to repent for. And oh yeah, you'll see in many of Jalen's videos, he just breaks out in tongues. Now, if you are speaking to God in tongues, then do it in private. That's between you and God. But if you are doing it in a public video, there'd better be a translator because your shabba rabba laba ding dong didn't benefit anybody. But this is also what the Lord showed me. Donald Trump gonna be back in office. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. And that's also what a lot of people don't want. But it's gonna happen in Jesus' name. Cause see, when I was doing the live yesterday, I seen it, but I didn't say nothing. Cause I always wanna pray about everything that I see. Yeah, so there's that. Now, we can also see here that he's one of the people that believes the baptism of the Holy Spirit with fire, which we've shown in context that the fire of God is not for believers. And in this video, we see him when he was filled with the Holy Ghost and what happened. This is where some pastor calls him out of the crowd to pray for him. God has anointed you, called you. Did you speak in tongues like that? But you won't, don't you? He says, did you speak in tongues back there? No, but you want to. But the pastor can't do anything to make that happen. Tongues is a gift from God. Your life is forever going to be changed. Forever. It comes from here. So you got to shut this off. Turn your mind off. The Holy Spirit is already, it's a gift. And this goes on for about three minutes until we get here. About 30 more seconds. We're going to break through this thing. I believe in what God is going to do through this man. So I need you to act like this is the whole reason he came. So he needs 30 more seconds to break through this thing. What exactly is this thing he's referring to? So it was all about speaking in tongues because the Bible says that if you wait long enough and pray long enough, eventually that gift will come. Yeah. Now here's the strange thing. If you are someone that does believe in a second baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues when you're baptized, he tells the story in this video about his experience speaking in tongues. I had a white t-shirt on. He was like, man in a white t-shirt, come up here. I was all the way in the back. 
it 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 felt like when he said it, it was like chills came down. I just walked, I took off out there. I just walked straight up there to the altar. He said, my friends told me they was like, cause see when I went up there, I was in a completely different zone. I would not. It was like everything was just blocked off. Cause my friends told me they was like he asked if I was baptized yesterday, and he don't know nothing about me. And that's how you know that's God. And I was like, yeah. And I don't, I don't even remember none of that. I don't even remember that. Then he talked to me. He was like, hey, did you speak in tongues back then? I was like, no. He was like, but you won't. I said, yeah. And we've seen how that all ends in so-called tongues. But why didn't he speak in tongues the day before when he was baptized? Was the tongue-talking experience a third baptism of the Holy Spirit? Things just don't seem to add up. In this video, God spoke to him about Steve Harvey, and as you can see, it's quite long. So we'll listen to a shorter version by the channel, Somebody for Christ, about seeing Steve Harvey naked. Well, I found a new YouTube false prophet, and this one has seen Steve Harvey buck naked. So, the Lord woke me up this morning. He said, give a word to Steve Harvey. I said, okay. Rakabada de yuk, tarabuda de yuk, kumbada de yuk. Oh, uh, whoo, see, it's already starting. But I'm going to just say what I see. I see him butt naked, and he is standing before God on Judgment Day. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It may sound crazy. It may sound like, oh, the Lord, why would the Lord show you somebody butt naked? Yes, why would he show you another man naked? Look, I see this man butt naked. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please stop with the Steve Harvey buck naked. You know what I'm saying? I see this man, but nigga, he's standing before God. I, I hear pride. I hear prideful. You know what I'm saying? Jalen, if God shows you naked men, he might be a false prophet. <laughs> so, yeah, that was just weird. Now, in this video, God speaks to him, and the wealth transfer is typical prosperity gospel stuff, but I noticed something else. The Lord just gave me a vision just now about five minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna speak what the Lord was showing me. Uh, so, what I saw was, I got in prayer and I seen, uh, you know, y'all know uh, Perry Stone, powerful man of God, you know what I'm saying? Uh, watch him all the time. I had a vision of Perry Stone and the Lord was speaking to me but it was like Perry Stone was speaking to me in this vision. The Lord was using Perry Stone to speak to me in this vision. So God is speaking through Perry Stone, who, by the way, is a very questionable man to say the least, and you can find all sorts of stuff about him on YouTube. But let's continue. And what I heard was, first, this is the first thing I seen, I seen gold. And in Perry Stone videos, he always talk about gold and nuggets. So I seen gold. Then I seen somebody holding a golden, like a golden nugget. Then I started hearing Perry Stone speak. And the gold represent wealth. And he said, wealth is coming to the body of Christ. He kept saying, wealth is coming to the body of Christ. And then this is the last thing he said. It's the last thing he spoke. He said, the rapture is coming. He said, many are not ready. Due to pride. He said that. People don't like the idea of the rapture because they want to take on the Antichrist by themselves. This is ridiculous and definitely not God speaking to him. I don't know any Christian that doesn't like the idea of the rapture, the idea of finally leaving this corrupt world and being with God forever where there is no more suffering or pain. And what Christian wants to take on the Antichrist themselves? That's insane. In this video, God spoke to him giving praise to Alexander Pagani's fake deliverance ministry. So this is a uh, prophetic word for Mr. Alexander Pagani. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Lord has spoke to me about you. He was well spoken. You well put together. And everything that I'm saying is everything that he spoke earlier. Because I could just read off my notes, but I'm like, it's better if I just prophesy on camera because, you know, the Lord speak to me. I got the same spirit as you do. And the Lord is proud of you because... Again, you very militant when you when it come to your faith because you don't you don't you don't you don't compromise the gospel. You don't do this for money. You do this out of the kindness of your heart because you care about souls. You know what I'm saying? You want to see souls saved at the end of the day. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Lord Jesus Christ loved about you because he know that when it comes to your faith, faith is the evidence of things that we can't see. It's the substance of things hoped for. And also, this is another thing. The Lord told me that he want me to learn from up under you. Because the Lord told me, he says, I was taught by the Holy Spirit himself for a long time. But he said, now it's time for face to face. And I heard the Lord say, uh, disciple and training. And I had a vision of me learning from up under you. So the Lord want me to learn from up under you because he says, the prophetic gift that I have, I heard a spiritual cover. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's the word from the Lord. Uh, if you've seen our video on Pagani and his false tongues and false deliverance ministry, casting demons out of born-again believers, there's no way God told him that now it's time to move on and be trained by this guy instead of the Holy Spirit. As we can see here, he had a prophetic teaching on buying Sheba coin and did three other videos on this as well as part of the wealth transfer. But we can see that prophecy has already been exposed as well. Folks, this is another super special person that God has shown heaven to. God has shown him hell. God showed him demons on other planets. Jesus showed him the mark of the beast. And Jesus took him to heaven where he saw God's throne room. And there's lots more like seeing Michael the Archangel during a deliverance. I know I mention this a lot, but it's interesting that he being a prophet promotes Alexander Pagani and these phony deliverance ministries when Jesus warned us in Matthew 7 that many on Judgment Day will call him Lord and say they prophesied and cast out demons in Jesus' name, yet Jesus never knew them and they will end up in hell. These are the two biggest false ministries out there that are leading people astray. And we've been warned, so we have no excuse. Please take that into consideration when you watch videos like this one. And if you haven't seen the video on why the baptism of fire isn't for believers, click here to watch that now. But we'll leave it here for today, so leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.